this is Di, and I am on my way to get a repeat upper endoscopy because one is not good enough. I think we're 10 months out from the last one, so I'm gonna see this time, hopefully, what's wrong with my stomach and esophagus. Get a second opinion from another doctor who actually has the exact same name, so, well, not the exact same, the same last name, so makes it more intriguing. How are you, Jerry? <laughs> uh, this morning, we're actually doing this about 10 minutes from my house. Somehow we've ended up all the way, we've ended up in Issaquah, we've ended up in Seattle, we've done all this stuff, and this time we're doing it local, so Let's see if that gives us a different, different angle on it, and I put my hair up because it's going to get messed up. What are we looking at? Regular gas, 4.79. It is March of 2022, and our gas prices are going up because of the attack on Ukraine by Russia. I forgot to tell you the prep. If you're having an endoscopy, my prep was eight hours before it. I was not allowed to eat anymore. I could just drink specific things. I only drink water. Most well, I mostly drink water, so that was easy. But then. Two hours before it, I'm not allowed to drink water. And I need to hold my bladder in case they need a urine sample. I'm only allowed to bring my phone, my medical card, and my ID. I'm not allowed to bring him, so he's going to be stuck in the parking lot um, because we still have uh, COVID precautions. Maybe we will forever. Who knows? I just put this on and I got my IV. She got it on the first try. I'm waiting for anesthesia and the doctor and I'll go back. Just met with anesthesia. Let her know that I don't get sleepy on fentanyl. So she said she was going to do like fentanyl and propofol mixed together. So I just want to make sure I'm out. I am so tired. It's probably just nerves, but I want to sleep. <laughs> she used this to heat up my hand. I like playing with it. Like having a cush ball or something. And I'm out. They gave me treats. Ginger ale. And a kind bar. Both things I'm not supposed to eat. They rolled me in the room and they gave me a little cocktail. Somebody forgot to put the leads on. I had a joke that they were, how long would it take me to find all of them later? Because I found them two days later one time. And we're out. Yay. It's 11.29, so it was scheduled for 9.30, so I just figured two hours. My doctor was really nice. She didn't speak a lot of English. And so when I tried to explain to her what was going on, I could not communicate. <laughs> also, just the whole nerves and being intimidated by doctors, because I've worked with doctors before and they're intimidating. They like things just so. so. When the nurse came in and said, did you have any questions? I said, okay, I just want to make sure everybody knows why I'm doing this. This is the issue. I said, I did not communicate well with the doctor. They went over it, but my results were fine. Esophagus was fine. They took uh, small biopsies from your stomach, a spot on your stomach, and I think the top of the uh, small intestine. So the mystery continues. I follow up with the doctor in two weeks, and I guess we come up with a game plan then. The nurse said you should have results in seven days. Yeah, so results in seven days. That's why I scheduled the doctor two weeks out. Did not want to schedule and then have to reschedule because results weren't in. Oh, I should tell you how I'm feeling in case you're having this procedure. I am a little bit loopy, but not terribly loopy. The nurse said that this particular anesthesiologist does not over-medicate you. They had rolled me back in, and all I can think of when they roll me in is just knock me out. Just 
just knock me out because I don't want I don't want to see anything. I don't want to know anything. I just want to go to sleep. I'm usually pretty tired by then because you get up early to go to the doctor. And so they rolled me back in and the tech that was helping me, she was she had like gauges and a whole bunch of earrings. There's a part where they put the mouth guard in and it always cracks me up. And I just said, well, that thing's funny. And she burst out laughing, so she knew what I was saying. I said, well, I'll give you some stuff to take the edge off. And I said, oh, okay, what did you give me? And she said, a little Versed and some pain medicine and a little something else. And so it did the trick. Out I went, just like I wanted to be, nice and sound asleep. But then when they rolled me back, did I wake up right away? Or did I lay there sleeping for a while? Well, back. I came in, your eyes were open, and you were talking. the Versed and erases your memory so it just was erasing my memory. You weren't oriented in time and space now. No. I have worship team tonight. That's the band for church. Forgot that the same, I scheduled this the same day as band rehearsal. Somewhere in there I flipped it so I'm not allowed to drive for 12 hours so Jerry will have to drive me to band rehearsal. I don't think I'll feel loopy but you know I'm not allowed to operate heavy machinery or make any legal decisions today. So I am feeling better. I have a slight stomach ache still. Yeah, my throat doesn't really hurt. Some people get a sore throat from having a tube down their throat, but I don't have a sore throat. And I don't know, I feel a little bit headachey, but that's probably just throwing off my eating schedule. It's gonna make me wonky and taking my medicines at different times since I was asleep when I was supposed to take my medicine. Well, it's been like three hours and I took a nap. It's like I've been heavily medicated. That I ate something, took a nap. My stomach's upset, I think, because I ate foods that I don't usually eat. Um, and also because they didn't have anything that was safe for me to eat as my snack when I woke up. So I had pop, which I don't normally have. And I had a chocolate kind bar, which I don't normally have chocolate. If you're gonna have an endoscopy, may have a slight stomach afterwards. Um, stomach, might have a stomach, might have a stomach ache afterwards. Let me know how yours goes in the comments down below and watch this next video, which has me working on my stomach and a video down here that YouTube picked out just for you.